Uh, hello, Akshay. Uh, my name is Hashika. I'm pursuing my Bachelor's of Degree in Electronics and Communication Engineering from mm-hmm. Kolkata University, Bangalore. Mm-hmm. I'll be graduating on the twenty twenty four batch. Um, cool. So, coming to its hiring procedure, Hashita, you know, when compared to other companies, how is it? Uh, Ask them hiring procedure. So, how many rounds were there? Any talk on that? Yeah, actually, uh, also my dream now uh, came out came to our college on August. Mm-hmm. I think on August third we have an online assessment regarding the uh, this uh, like assessment mm-hmm. like uh, attitude, quantitative, okay, and mathematical logical questions. Mm-hmm. So coming to the electronical uh, like electrical triple E and all we don't have any coding questions. Okay. So CAC they have been asked coding questions. Okay. So ACE we have some mathematical logical questions, mathematical mm-hmm. logical and attitude, quantitative. Mm-hmm. There is no coding because uh, all some is an R and D company. Mm-hmm. So for taking ele- yeah taking electrical and communication people, they don't need any coding. But mm-hmm. taking from CAC CAC branch people, they need some coding knowledge. Okay. So we don't have any coding questions. Okay. After that, uh, on an assessment, um, uh, within one week they have been result mm-hmm. like they have been released some results. Okay. Who have been now uh, passed. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, from our Bangalore campus, around seventy-four people have been now cleared the online assessment test. Yes, okay. Okay. it is a pool that means we come to the Vizag campus. All of them will come to the Vizag campus. Mm-hmm. We should go to the Vizag campus and attend the interview. Okay. Mm-hmm. So on eighth uh, August, uh, we got that uh, these people have been selected. You have to go to Vizag and attend the interview. Okay. So there is no online uh, chance to attend the interview. Okay. We don't know about the job description, anything. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have gone to Vizag, mm-hmm. and from there, uh, first round has been GD group discussion. Group discussion. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In group discussion, uh, they have been uh, like separated ten people from Bangalore. We went only twelve people. Twelve members have been uh, okay. from Bangalore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ten members has been. Uh, Like separated to one group, and mm-hmm. other two members were added to another another group. Mm-hmm. So when we went, we had got the topic uh, noise pollution. Okay. The mm-hmm. event is noise pollution. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Regarding that, they gave us uh, two minutes to discuss. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ten minutes to talk. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So within twelve to thirteen minutes, they have finished the group discussion. Mm-hmm. After the group discussion, they have been reached the results. Okay. From that results also, uh, they took our resume, resume okay. mm-hmm. by seeing our resume mm-hmm. and our project. Based on our project, they have been shortlisted some members. Mm-hmm. Yeah. After that group discussion, we have uh, gone to the uh, technical round. Okay. Technical round was uh, taken around the. Uh, for me, it has been taken around the twenty five to thirty minutes. Okay, Arjita. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, going back to the assessment, as you mentioned, uh, there were apt logical questions and all, right? Uh, were there any communication uh, based assessment, uh, Arjita? Like communication, English, something? No, no, no. No, all right. No, there is an essay writing. Yes, sir. Essay. Okay. Yeah, essay. There is no regarding the English questions. All right. And the camera was mathematical. Cool. And uh, camera was on. Correct. Yeah, the camera was on. Okay. Do you remember the platform, uh, Harshita? Like, what was the platform they mentioned? Hi Pro. Hi Pro. All right. Hi. Hi Pro. Okay. It was a platform that they conducted the. Chalo then. Uh, so we'll start with your technical round. You can continue. Yeah. Wow. Uh, for me, technical interview was uh, continued for twenty-five to thirty minutes. Okay. Uh, first, actually, I'm a diploma student. Mm-hmm. So they were interested in at a diploma because I have so uh, I'm in a EC student in diploma also. Okay. So they asked me some questions regarding my diploma, past education and all. Mm-hmm. Like where you have been studied, what is your knowledge in diploma? Okay. And so I explained them and all. And regarding that, okay, it is okay for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they asked about my project. Okay. I have been explained about my project. Okay, not uh, bad. Okay, I have been explained. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then coming, um, they asked me to select a subject. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I have been selected for uh, MP and MC. Mm-hmm. They asked some questions regarding that. Okay. 
some basic questions and some deep depth questions. Depth questions. Because uh, we are, uh, yeah, we are uh, easy students, right? Okay. So they don't ask about any coding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They ask about uh, like cover. Okay. Like chip and all. So, so basically, like uh, whatever you mentioned in the resume, questions were based upon that, or they went uh, with the different path. Like how was it? They went. They went to different. If I if I am saying about like my project, if I am saying like any anything about my project, okay. they'll be passing from that. Mm-hmm. If I say anything about my project, mm-hmm. from that they lost the questions. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. And uh yeah, and they asked uh, what why you have to take this company technical mm-hmm. on itself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh yeah. Uh, has been explained then about uh, all some. Mm-hmm. So why should I join on some and and all I have. Well, uh, like the the journey from Bangalore to Vizag, mm-hmm. also okay. explained. You mentioned okay. Uh, mm, that's it. Uh, technical interviewing was finished. Okay. It took around twenty five to thirty minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, they asked about my like pen and all. Mm-hmm. They asked. Okay. And they told me that uh, please wait for ten minutes. Uh, still some BCA students are there. Mm-hmm. So after that, after interviewing them, they will just inform you to move to the HR round or not. Okay. And then I just waited for ten minutes. After that, they called me for HR round. Okay. Uh, in the technical round, the prior importance was given to your core subject, correct? Yeah, yeah. Since you are not from the CSE background, the priority was given to your core subject, correct? Yes. Yes. Core subject. Chalo then. So if you are from CSE, they have gone in the different path, like giving coding questions. Yes. Going coding. Yes. Technical stuff. Mm. Okay. Chalo. Yeah. Mm. Would you like to say anything? But. the the making thing they have been uh, like they have been kept some job description about all some company mm-hmm. they told that you have to know about ms excel ms office and all that so mm-hmm. i have learned about them and, yeah but they didn't even mention any coding core mm-hmm. and all some people have learned about the uh, mm-hmm. ms ms office and ms excel okay from technical round uh, they they went to home so they didn't even come to the hr round So, any yeah. situ- situation-based questions, Sarshita? Like, uh, where you see after five years? Like, uh, any situation-based question? Like, if you were a team lead, how are you gonna handle this uh, team mates? Such kind of questions? No, 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 no. They they didn't ask you. They didn't ask like that question. All right. Yeah. So, what was the time taken to get uh, the technical round? So, when did you get the results? Technical round results was uh, just within ten minutes. Okay, ten minutes. Ah. Just within ten minutes. Yeah. I completed my interview around twenty five to thirty minutes, like technical round. Mm-hmm. After that, I have waited for ten minutes outside, okay. and then they called me to HR round. So, how was your HR experience? HR round uh, actually, like uh, what should I say is, uh, I don't know what to do go and talk to HR round. It okay. might like, it was a fresher interview, right? So I went. They were very cool. Mm-hmm. They asked about my uh, personal questions like, "What is your family? Okay. Where are you from? Mm-hmm. What is your childhood? Mm-hmm. What is your strength, weakness?" Okay. Well, as they told me, like they asked me about my internship. Mm-hmm. So I have done my internship on uh, Edu Skills AWS. So it is an online internship. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have done on that AWS. I explained mm-hmm. to them. Okay. And uh, they asked me about uh, my introduction. I mm-hmm. told them. Okay. Um, and then they asked about my CGPA. Mm-hmm. And I told them about my CGPA. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, at last, they asked. Uh, they asked me to like, if you, if we take you, why should we take you? Mm-hmm. Okay. What is the reason we that we should take you? Okay. How did you answer to that question? Do you remember? How did you answer to that question? Yeah. Uh, why? Okay. Why all some should select you? Okay. I told them that. Uh, Sir, uh, I can manage all the things, mm-hmm. and then some. Uh, I can manage the team environment. I can manage my own also. Okay. So I'm not. I'll. I'll not depend on anyone. Mm-hmm. So I can manage, sir. Okay. I told them like that. Mm-hmm. I told them that I don't have any. I don't have any weakness. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Tell them. And then, mm-hmm. and then they asked. Uh, Or is the preferred location? Hmm. Preferred. Okay. Hmm. 
location. Uh, I told them, uh, please uh, give me Bangalore. Mm-hmm. They asked, why, why should we give you in Bangalore? Mm-hmm. So, it was near to my home. Mm-hmm. So, please give me in Bangalore. Mm-hmm. They told that this is a weakness. No, we yeah, have a weakness also. Okay. They were very funny and cool. Mm-hmm. I didn't even expect like that. Okay. It was good. My interview experience was very good. Okay. Uh, I was literally shocked. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, regarding what you were shocked, like which part you got shocked? Uh, like, when, this is my first interview. Mm. In first interview itself, I, I got my job. Cool. This is very shocking for me. Also, as you mentioned, there was, you know, preference for the location. So, what was the location they mentioned? Do you remember? Location preference. They didn't mention location, but but they told that, uh, okay, uh, you told about, you told that we should keep you in Bangalore. Okay. But, uh, uh, wherever we, we will send you, you okay. have to do that for mm-hmm. two years. Two years, okay. Your location will be there. You have to do that in two years. Mm-hmm. After that, you can change your location. All right. So, for example, uh, if it, uh, if they, uh, they keep me in Delhi, mm-hmm. so I should keep, I should uh, be there for two years and then I can change my location. Cool. And the role also, uh, actually the all-star role in the, the given is is uh, graduate training. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and but uh, they asked me the role, like, uh, and what you are interested in. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Learn about, uh, I'm interested in manufacturing and okay. designing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, they told that, uh, okay, first uh, we come, you, you join in the all and okay. then you learn. Yeah. Okay. It will be very good to learn. Mm-hmm. And they also told that if you are in manufacturing department, if you want to change you into the designing department, you can change in two years also. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can also change the role. Right. That means we want to change. Yes. All right. And there is no uh, like a restriction to what that. A restriction to that. Ah, uh, no restrict. Yeah, no restrictions. And um, bond. There is no bond. No bond. All right. No service. Ah, uh, yeah. No, no, no bond. Okay. Any talk on stipend yeah, and then the internship, Shita? No, no, no. Just now, for up to now, the Alston company has made us about our personal information, like my attending the class and the diploma. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They asked our uh, documents to submit, and they didn't even tell us what in the, like, we, we should do an internship. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Or else anywhere. Yeah. They didn't even inform us. All right, then. We didn't wait for that. Yeah, guys. So, guys, if I get any update from the Narsita, definitely we're going to make another video. So, until that, uh, stay tuned. So, if she get any update from the company, definitely we're going to do another video. Okay, that is for sure. And, uh, Harshita, as you mentioned, what was the eligibility criteria? So, what was to be the threshold in 10th? Eligibility? Yeah. yeah. Eligibility in 10th class is 70%. Mm-hmm. Okay. 70%. And in the diploma, 70%. Mm-hmm. I'm from uh, engineering, uh, 70%, like okay. like 7 plus mm. GPA, there are uh, zero backlogs. Zero backlogs. Zero active backlogs, yeah. Okay. Uh, any talk on the gap, uh, educational ba- gap? Any talk on that? No. No. All right. So, so I guess we have covered everything. Uh, last is like CTC. Yeah. What is the expected CTC to a fresher? Any talk on that? Uh, I think I expected CTC for a fresh it from means uh, 4.5 to 7. Sure. The best CTC. Cool. Yeah. And I guess we covered everything. Uh, it's hiring procedure and the technical questions, HR and also the job description. Uh, are we missing anything? No? I think not. No. All right. Last time, final question. Any suggestion to our audience, uh, Shita? Just be confident while giving your interview. Okay. Just tell what you know. That's it. Just right. tell what you know. Mm-hmm. Just be confident. Mm-hmm. So, it's wrong also. Just tell. Just be confident. All right. So, adding to Ashita's point, guys, see, if you're from CAC background, make sure that you are strong with fundamental knowledge, strong with technical knowledge, as well as you have hands on experience on the coding part. If you are a non uh, CAC uh, student, just make sure that you are well known with your core subject. So as she was mentioning, she was not from the CSE background, but she got a question from the core subject irrespective of her background. 
so just have knowledge regarding your core subject and be prepared with your project as well okay just look into the insights and also the libraries whatever you are using in the uh, project and ashita i really appreciate you for taking time and joining us and you know sharing your interview experience with our audience really appreciate that yeah, thank you thank you just for giving this opportunity in your channel pleasure pleasure to express my uh, thoughts and uh... pleasure ashita pleasure and uh, yeah guys this is all of today's talk and if you not a subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon and subscribe and guys we also have a telegram community group the link is given in the description and that's it once again thank you for joining us today all right and yeah guys see you in the next video